Jeff, first win on the road. How did it feel? It felt good. You know, we came out and we had the business kind of shaky at the end, but we pulled through, we figured it out, you know, came out with the W, so that's the right thing. Just getting that second unit going, that rotation, I guess, what kind of chemistry do you guys feel that like you have already and what's kind of the work still to go? Um, chemistry was great. You know, it was, you know, like a day just at first, we were still trying to figure it out. You know, first game, first game jitters, of course, it was a season opener in Indiana. The energy was through the roof, um, of course, but we came out and we handled business. You know, once we got locked in and once we, you know, got going and got flowing, it was just, you know, just like bread and butter. You know, we figured it out, we got passes, made plays, executed, played defense. We made sure we did all the things that we had to do in the second unit, no stuff. Yeah, you, you talked about playing with poise last night. You, you showed that. Mm -hmm. Just what, what was you proud of, of last night's performance from you? Um, most definitely just, you know, my aggressiveness. You know, I've been really just trying to get back to, you know, I would say the old me and just, you know, playing a lot more physical, you know, not being the guy that's getting pushed around all the time, really just bringing the physicality to the game at first instead of, you know, letting somebody initiate it for us. You know, that's the main thing is just being out there and just, you know, being an energy guy, being an anchor on defense, talking to guys, making sure we know where we need to be, how we need to be and when we need to do it, little things like that. So all in all, you know, I feel like I did a pretty good job in most of that. It's still some things that I, you know, I would say I'm going to get better at throughout the season. But for sure, you know, all in all, like I said, I think I feel like I did pretty good last night. And then thoughts on the second unit as well? All right, the second, you know what I mean? Like I said, we came out and we did what we had to do. You know, the first unit came out, they started they started the game off great. You know, energy was through the building and we came out and picked up basically where they left off. You and Will had really good chemistry on taking roles. Uh, so, like, how do you feel to work with him and how do you feel like you guys get to progress throughout the season? Uh, of course, um, our chemistry is great because, you know, he talks to me all the time. He's like, look, I'm going to find you, whether it's late, whether it's early. Whenever you're on the floor, running the floor, just run the floor for me and I'm going to find you. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, make sure that I get him over with my screen saying he makes sure he gets the ball to me whenever he needs to. Or if he's finishing, you know, I tell him to get him on the rim, I'm coming right behind him to get it off the rim. So main thing is, you know, we talked about it most of the time through our practices, through our shooting rounds, whatever. We figured out our niche, you know, set a screen, I'm going to roll, he going to find me. If he doesn't find me, he's gonna lay the ball up. Like, so. Did you feel like the offense was smooth and like you guys were in the right spots? Everyone felt like you know it was going easily. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I about to say the execution was good on our part last night. We finally locked in and we finally figured out you know how to get our set set up and be able to just execute without having a team speed us up throughout our execution. So that was a real good thing for us last night. What did you learn about the team when Indiana made that run and you were able to sustain it? Um, that we've gotten better in holding our composure when it comes to stuff like that. You know, Coach said they were going to try to speed us up at one point in time, and that's when they did it was at the end of the game. So when it came to us trying to, you know, lock in and figure out ways to, you know, either extend the lead or just hold the lead until the end of the game, that was the main thing. We locked in and we held our composure, we held our boys. Guys were frustrated, of course, but we got guys on the team that learn how to know how to, you know, pick the next guy up. That's the main thing. So at the end of the game, you know, we came into the locker room, it was like, yeah, it was rough, but at the same time, we made it through. I think you had four dunks yesterday. Mm -hmm. Were any of them particularly your favorite out of any of them? Uh, most definitely the first one, you know, because I feel like that's what got me going. You know, it's um, I think it was last year. I think it was either preseason or at the beginning of the season or whatnot. Um, Jaime, Jaime Sanique, he told me, he was like, what you what you need to do is get yourself going to dunk. That's all it is. Like, yeah. And he kind of like piggybacked off that after every game and stuff. You know, it's all you need is just one dunk and whatnot. And so that's what kind of got me going. So I really appreciate the first one. And I appreciate the first one too because of the fan that was in the background tapping his head. You know, I like that. <laughs> For you, obviously, early foul trouble was something you struggled with a little bit last year. I guess, what's the adjustment or is there no adjustment coming off the bench and your mentality defensively? Um, really just, you know, figuring out when to go help and when not to. You know, being in the right place at the right time, making the right reads, and just, you know, just being smart all in all. You know, I gotta, if I got a block attempt, go for it. If I don't, be vertical. And if I'm not in a position to go for a block, don't go for it at all. You know, it's always gonna be, I'm always gonna be in a position to where I'm holding the guy on a perimeter and I'm not gonna be in help side most of the time. But when I am, that's when I have to be smart in those certain situations. And if I'm on the perimeter, being able to move my feet, not reaching, not getting mentally fatigued, not getting fatigued in general, just, you know, guarding guys, playing and simple. Last night when Indiana made their run and you guys were able to sustain that. Uh, when they were able to sustain uh, runs like that, but you know, we still can't put ourselves in that situation. But, uh, it speaks volumes to know that we are able to stay poised, not get rattled, and uh, finish up the game for sure. Brad was kind of a, a night to absorb everything. What are you seeing from the tape?
think that stands out to you, either things you really want to correct right away or things you guys did well? Uh, I mean, we keep a lot of that stuff in house, but you know, it's just know we have a lot that we can get better at. There's a lot we know that we um, did well, uh, but there's always room for improvement. You know, we all know our transition defense wasn't the greatest, so uh, the biggest thing is making our, our defense better because that eliminates. You know, a lot of the mishaps we may have on offense and vice versa, you know, kind of making sure we get good shot selection in our space and, um, you know, which leads out to sometimes our bad transition and things like that. So uh, just making sure that we're, we're, on, we're on page, on the same page and executing the right way. You mentioned Rui really last night, I think right after you say Hughes and KP were really big and we need Rui really to be big too. What do you want to see from him this year? Oh, just being confident, you know, being aggressive at all times, especially being in the second unit. He's going to have, he and Will are going to have the reins of, of pretty much being aggressive at all times. They're going to be the scorers in that group. So uh, whenever he's out there, we need him aggressive at all times. He's a, a mismatch problem, uh, super versatile. So uh, what he's been doing all summer and preseason, we need to just continue to ramp it up and be better and continue to do that. Two years ago when Russ was here, like, it was always telling him, be more aggressive, be more aggressive. Is it a little bit less that you have to do that, or is it still kind of just reminding him? Uh, I still have a little rust in my head telling me uh, to do that, but uh, it's it's a lot. I won't say easier, but it's it's a kind of a weight lifted off your shoulders, knowing that you don't have to do the scoring every single night. You don't have to carry that load. Uh, so many guys who can contribute and um, who can be aggressive and create plays too. So uh, I think me just giving them that confidence and giving those them that opportunity will only just help us, you know, as we continue to advance in the season and move forward and hopefully. Uh, have being a playoff pitcher, you know, that will prepare us for, for those moments. How'd the, how'd the uh, pick and roll with uh, KP feel? You guys did really well. Uh, I mean, we're, we're still figuring it out, obviously. Uh, but we, we love our chemistry where, where it is. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure out where he loves the ball, uh, where he likes his isos. Uh, he's t- still figuring that out with me as well. But, you know, we, we know that we're going to be really tough to guard, you know, especially if a lot of teams are going to switch. That creates a lot of mismatches, and you got to make a decision now. You know, you're going to either have a big guard in me or a small guard in him. So uh, we just try to keep the defenses on their toes, and we know that that's our duo is, can do that. Do you think the offense really flowed well if people were in the right spots generally? Oh, uh, for sure. You know, uh, I think we have to be better at um, making the extra pass. I think there's a lot of times we shot the ball potentially and we had some guys open. Um, but for the most part, we do a really good job of getting in the paint. Um, attacking the basket was what we did really well the other night, but we got to make sure we get some more threes up. Defensive, defensively against Chicago, what kinds of things are you going to be trying to take away from them? Well, we got to try to cool DeMar down. He's always he's always hot. He starts the year off this way, but, uh, you know, he and Zach, if, if Zach is able to go, you know, that's those those are their, their two workhorses, you know, so they, they feed off their back and boost a bitch too. So uh, we got to understand that DeMar needs to see bodies uh, and we can't let the rest of the other guys kind of be too big of factors in the game. Everybody's a pro, so you're not going to disrespect anybody. Uh, but we got to eliminate them and make it difficult on them as well, uh, just like we will with DeMar. This team's not really overlooking the Wizards. Uh, I mean, I love, I love that, you know. Um, you know, we're pros just like everybody else. I always tell guys, you know, my dad told me when I was younger, everybody laces them up, puts their shorts on the same way you do. Uh, you know, so you don't you don't fear anybody. You know, that's kind of our approach. And the other teams have the same approach with us. They know it's not going to be easy. They know we're going to be competitive. They know we're young and versatile and we're going to get after it. So, uh, you know, it speaks volumes, but we, we can't worry about outside noise and what other people's opinions are of us. Uh, we got to control what we can control and play Wizards ball. I know you said you were happy with uh, five and double figures. Just what does that speak about? This team's versatility. Uh, volumes, you know, uh, constantly makes West's job a little harder, but it, it's beautiful. And the fact that you know, there's so many guys that we that can contribute to our success. Uh, so many guys that are able to grow. You know, and I think that's that's what I love the most about it. Is you're seeing young guys have an opportunity to grow and uh, into to their role of who they can be. You know moving forward, so that's exciting to see. Uh, but it's not perfect. Obviously, you know, we still got to work at it, still be better at it. Um, it's good to know that we're, we're, moving, we're trending in the right direction. Yeah. 38 minutes for you, I guess, just how does it feel after the long layoff during, and then how does your body feel the day after? Uh, feel good today, a little, little sore, but uh, it's just normal, normal, normalness after another, after a tough game. Uh, but 38 minutes, I felt fine. Uh, the win was good, a little bit, little bit tired, but um, I mean, that's just getting back into the flow of the game and playing the full game and 
I felt good, more or less. I felt like my movements were good. I was quick with the ball, making swift decisions. So my body felt good. Yeah. I want to ask you about a specific play late in the third, like less than two minutes left. You took the ball out and you were kind of like high stepping a little bit with the basketball, then got the switch on Brissett, did some dribbling around there. I guess was someone talking to you, or you kind of like, oh, I'm going to show you guys, or is that just. No, it's just me having fun with the game. Uh, it's just me having fun with the game. Will's a big street ball guy. Right. We all know Will throws a big street ball guy, so I kind of I throw a little bit in my game, a little bit too, watching him practice in, in games too. So, uh, no, nah, it's just me having fun, you know, just keeping the defense on, toe, on their toes. Uh, they have no idea whether I'm going to go by them or whether a screen's coming. So, uh, it's just another way of me just having fun. Uh, so, you're also like, you're talking to someone behind the behind the basket at some point? I always talk to the fans. Yeah. Yeah, they always yell in. Was that a Wizards fan or a Pacers fan? Nah, it's never, never our team. <laughs> it's always the opposing team. Uh, but no, it was fun. He, uh, it was funny, he wanted me to make a three and I made a three in the, in the left corner over there. So I was like, yeah, that was for you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Second possession of the game, poor thing just passes to you for that three, I guess. It's in the moment. How good did that feel about, you know, possibilities the rest of the season? Uh, it was great, you know, just knowing that he's, uh, he's unselfish. Everybody's unselfish. Uh, felt great to get a catch and shoot, which I felt like I haven't had a, a good catch and shoot in a long time. <laughs> Uh, but that, that felt really good um, to get a few of them. Actually, I had a, good, a couple good looks last night. Um, but just to be able to see that, you know, he's an unselfish player. You know, that's that's what teams got to watch out for. So we're very curious. If you help, you can't leave me. You just can't let him go one-on-one. -on -one. He can shoot right over guys. So it'll be tough. Yep.